We're California's capital and we're the capital of homelessness right now for capita for a reason. Josh Wood, the CEO of Region Business, pushed for Measure O to get on the ballot. Now he's frustrated with the response from the city. We've waited eight months since Measure O passed for June 21st for this all to go into effect. And what we got was an email response saying the city's fulfilled its obligation. So we're not happy uh, and we're going to hold the city accountable to actually do what Measure O said they were supposed to do, which was provide shelter, provide services, and clean up the streets. But according to the city, they are making an effort to do that. The goal, obviously, is to do everything that we can to respond to the homelessness crisis in Sacramento. So, yes, the, the goal is to show um, response and hopefully improvement within our city. City manager spokesperson Tim Swanson says there are limitations the city faces when it comes to enforcing Measure O. The city is required to offer some sort of shelter space to a person if they are engaging with them over unlawful camping. So is there enough beds currently for the homeless encampments that are now out there for homeless people to go to? No, there aren't. There aren't currently enough beds. That's part of where Wood says the city dropped the ball on their part of the city-county partnership agreement, along with hiring an examiner for these cases. The one thing that you need to actually start the process is the examiner, and they're refusing to hire a $100,000 position. Wood says despite all of this, he is still encouraging people to fill out the notice and demand form. I would ask every resident of Sacramento, go online, fill out the form, flood their emails with this, and we're going to do everything possible to PRA that information and then hold them accountable legally to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do. In Sacramento, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News.